How do you feel about the changes that are coming? Do you think it's going to help the palace? The access is going to, to, to shift so that people can come in from the main uh, from the main broad walk. That means that the millions of people who go by will actually know that the palace is open. And inside, you'll actually find out so much more about the stories and the really human interest stories that happened here. And outside, there's going to be a whole new public space. Now that's bigger than Trafalgar Square. So that's somewhere that local people can come, just enjoy, picnic, and actually find out about why this place is so special. What is your favourite story? Oh, I think the thing about Kensington Palace is that a lot of really strong-minded and strong-willed women have lived here, and that's quite a consistent theme. And it starts with Queen Mary II. She and William III became King and Queen in 1689, and she died here of smallpox, and he was grief-stricken. And so they're grand king and queen, but, you know, they're husband and wife. And that goes all the way up to the present day. Diana, Princess of Wales, uh, lived here, and she died um, just over ten ye years ago. Princess Margaret, the Queen's sister, lived here. They, they were both really sort of strong-minded women, and they stand in a long line. And, and that's where the real human interest lies for me. Education in Kensington Palace, how did they get together? Oh, well, we run a lot of education sessions for schools who come to visit. And we've only just really started at Kensington. We have, we have you know, 175,000 children who come to the Tower of London and out to court. So we're just beginning to build up at Kensington. We have something really special. We, we can actually do a lot of work for history, for citizenship, for craft design, technology, whole host of, 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 of subject areas that come to life in this palace. We're also just starting a new project where, where we take out our stories to schools who can't really afford to visit or who don't quite see that the palace has something for them and suggest that actually the palace does have something for them, that there is a shared history and a sense of the past that we can help enthuse people with. So enthusiasm is the big thing for us.